All right, today, guys, let's talk about uh, what I consider one of the more, most important things um, on the install-wise um, when you're installing your shingle. Um, we're going to talk about our nail line. And today we've got two different shingles. We've got the Owens Corning Duration, and we got the CertainTeed Landmark Pro. And uh, we're going to talk about nail line, where the shingles go, and then how they seal up. So, um, nail line. Of course, that's where the nail is gonna go. So um, you gotta remember that on the average roof, we're putting 15 to 22,000 nails in there. So one reason um, that I'm a fan of the Owens Corning duration is there's that sure nail strip that goes clear across. So it's, it's extremely obvious where the nail's gonna go. Here on the certainty shingle, um, that is the nail line. You can see it, but it's not near as obvious as the Owens Corning one. And what I wanna talk about here is the common bond area where the laminated part of the shingle, the top and the bottom part of the shingle laminate together. So right there is your common bond area. There's very, very little of that in that nailing zone. Most of the nailing zone is you're only gonna get the top of the shingle. And on the OC, on the Owens Corning here, you've got more of the common bond area, you call that, um, in the nailing zone. And then also with that sure nail strip, that is a Teflon strip that is um, embedded into the shingle. So. Technically, part of that, you've got a triple protection there that's all together. At the minimum, the entire thing has two layers there. So let's just do kind of a common um, thing that as a homeowner, you can kind of like touch and feel. I know you can't touch and feel it. We're doing a video, but you can, you can see it. So let's just poke a nail through a shingle. And that's gonna go in your house, on your roof, and that nail, it's gonna waller out a pretty freaking decent hole without a whole lot of, without a whole lot of effort right there. On your sure nail, your Owens Corning duration with the sure nail. That sure nail strip, you can see me. We're doing that quite a bit. There's a lot less of a hole in that. And there's absolutely no way you're gonna pull this nail through this particular shingle. I can pull it through this shingle sooner or later. It's just, there's just not that layer of protection there. So it's gonna pull through there. Um, so the importance of that is when all them nails are going in them shingles, it can blow through there and go through there a lot easier with this particular shingle. Now, another big thing is um, when these shingles go to lay down, um, you're gonna have that and there's the glue line and it's gonna be able to go right on that sure nail strip that is clean and there's no granulars on there so it's going to be able to seal better i um, want to show you what it looks like here whenever you are doing when this one goes to seal down it's going to seal very it's going to seal in the same area but if we put that piece of tape down there and then peel that piece of tape up, you got some granulars and I didn't really put much effort into that. Like there's a lot of granulars right there. So that's, it doesn't have near the ceiling area here on the Owens Corning. Of course, with that strip being there, I guess there may be one small piece of granular from getting down a little too far but when you compare them to, there's a big difference. And I mean, that's, that's where it's sealing down that. That's, that's very important whenever 
it goes to seal down to stay sealed down for you.